Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to make a money making guide targeted at free to play players. It's been quite a while since I've actually made one of these and the methods that are viable in free to play change pretty frequently. We're about midway through 2019 and we've gotten a few free to play updates over the last year and some of them have actually created new money making methods or existing ones have gotten better or worse, so I think an updated guide would be useful. Most of these methods are extremely low level, won't require much as far as gold or experience. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy and let's get started. Okay, the first method here and is one of the more tried and true ones is mining gold and one of the best locations to do that is in the crafting guild. Now the crafting guild isn't that close to a bank unless you are in a member's world. However, there are multiple gold ores here and generally it's not too crowded. Um, so you can get a full inventory here and then run to a bank. Uh, the closest bank is either Falador, uh, there's a deposit box and Port Sarim, or alternatively you could take the boat to the Corsair Cove. However, I think the Port Sarim deposit box is most likely the closest. Gold ore is currently worth around 350 GP each and you will need 40 mining to actually mine it, as well as if you do it in the crafting guild you'll need 40 crafting to get in there and a brown apron. Now the profit per hour is going to depend on your mining level. You can get probably between 50k and 125k an hour depending on your mining level. At 40 you're probably going to get closer to 50k as well as maybe 10 to 15k mining experience. As you get a higher mining level though the profit will increase. Now there's actually a rather new way of making money as a free to play account and that is completing beginner clue scrolls. Beginner clue scrolls have quite a few different rewards that you can get from them. Some of them are actually worth a fair bit of GP. I think the shoulder parrot is still worth around 400k or 500k, which means doing beginner clue scrolls can actually be a pretty fun and decent way to make money in free to play. Now to actually get a beginner clue scroll, you can first off complete a quest called X marks the spot and you'll get one for free. However, for future clue scrolls, you need to kill monsters, really simple ones like cows, rats, I think even chickens drop them. It seems that some monsters drop them at about a 1 out of the 64 drop rate, which really won't take that long to obtain. Now the GP per hour is going to vary way too much to state, but it won't cost you much at all and you could get a reward worth a couple hundred k. Next up here is a really interesting one, and that is buying woad leaves from Weissen the Gardener. There are no requirements to do this method, you'll just need maybe a couple K at most, and you need to go over to the Falador Park. Now, Weissen will sell you a woad leaf, or actually two woad leaves, for 20 GP for both of them, so 10 GP each. Now, to do this, you need to go through the option, I would want a woad leaf, and tell him you're going to pay 20 for it, as otherwise he won't give it to you, or he'll give it to you at a worse deal. 20 GP for two woad leaves comes out at 10 each. And on the Grand Exchange, they sell for 60 GP and even upwards of 100 GP sometimes, which means you're going to get between like 100 to 200 GP per repetition of this method. Also, considering that you don't ever have to move as the items are stackable makes it extremely AFK and you don't really need to pay attention too much. The GP per hour here is probably between 75k to 100k an hour depending on prices, and considering that it has no requirements to do, I think it's pretty decent. If you just came here right after Tutorial Island, bought out like maybe a thousand world leave, you might be set for a couple days. There's actually another pretty recent money making method for free to play and that is smithing iron bars. Before the update that made the Ring of Forging free to play, smithing iron bars wasn't really viable in free to play because it had a 50% success rate which really tanked the potential profit. However, now that the Ring of Forging is free to play and the Ring of Forging ensures that the iron bar is smithed correctly every time, there's actually a decent margin for smithing iron bars. So the Ring of Forging will work for 140 iron bars, which means that the cost per bar is actually pretty low. It's only like seven or eight GP, which means that all you really need to do is take the price that an iron bar is selling for, subtract the price of iron ore, and then subtract seven. So in my case, the margin was around 40 GP, which will come up to around 50k to 100k an hour, depending on prices. However, you're also going to be getting uh, smithing experience, which is pretty good to get in free-to-play regardless. Generally, training your smithing is going to cost money, whether in members or free-to-play. So getting profitable smithing experience is nice. Another update to free-to-play is that you can now use the Edgeville Furnace, which is by far the closest furnace to a bank. So I would highly recommend doing it here, just running from the Edgeville Bank to the Edgeville Furnace and back. It'll be your best bet. Now you can't really make a free to play money making guide without having the Winds of Zamorak method on there. In 2019 it was probably one of the best methods, in 2018 it probably was 2017. I think pretty much as far back as old Grunescape goes, telegrabbing Winds of Zamorak is one of the best methods to get yourself out of free to play. However now there are three separate spawns for the Winds of Zamorak, one in the wilderness and two at the Asgarnian Chaos Temple. 
Even with the amount of people that do this method, the Wines of Zamorak are still worth around 2k each. I personally would rather do it in the wilderness, even though there is a risk. You can actually get Wines of Zamorak pretty consistently, hop between the worlds, and teleport out of there. The GP per hour is still probably around 200k an hour, so it still is one of the better methods for free to play. Next appears another pretty interesting method, and that is creating blue dyes out of woad leaves. It's kind of the opposite of one of the other methods on this list. Woad leaves sell for around 60 GP on the Grand Exchange, and blue dyes sell for 300, sometimes way more depending on the prices. Even if they sell for 300, that's still around 160 GP profit. What you'll need to do is come to Draenor Village and go to the Witch's House. Now it does take a bit of time to get used to cycling through the menus as you need to hit 4, three and then one however for each time that you do this you're going to be getting around 100 to 200 gp in profit again depending on the prices there is no requirement to do this method can be done right off tutorial island and there is a bank very close by the gp per hour here i think is probably around 50k to 75k a viable method if your account is brand new However, personally, I would rather get experience, so if you have another method unlocked, I would go for that one first. A really good method for making money in free-to-play, if you already have a little bit of a bankroll started, is buying jewelry items from the Grand Exchange and selling them back to Grum's Gold Exchange. There is typically a decent margin between uh, the Grand Exchange and, well, the Gold Exchange. The limiting factor here is a lot of people will do this which means that there will already be quite a few items sold to the shop, which makes the margins not as good. So for example here, you can see that I bought most of the jewelry items for 200, 300, even 400 GP uh, cheaper on the Grand Exchange than what Grums is willing to buy them for. So if the shops are totally empty, I would hop between the worlds and sell five of each item and hop to another world. This is when having the total level worlds comes in handy because having a 750 total world or even 500 will generally give you more options on worlds that are empty. The GP per hour here can be quite good if you can consistently sell between all the worlds and have enough money to bankroll yourself for an hour, which isn't super likely in free-to-play, but you could probably get 400 or 500k an hour doing this if all those factors were true. Again, this method has no requirements. The only main requirement is cash. As a lot of these items cost like 1,000 GP or more, you will need quite a bit of bankroll to do this. Another very simple method is crafting gold rings. The only requirement for this is level 5 crafting and a ring mold which you can buy directly from the Grand Exchange or the Alcarid crafting store. Now there's often a 20 to 40 GP margin on gold rings which means that the GP per hour here can vary a bit. It's probably on the lower end somewhere around 50k an hour but you're also going to be getting crafting experience and the requirement for this is extremely low. Again you're way better off doing this at the edge of a furnace as it is now free to play. The main reason that gold rings are not worthless is that you can actually sell them to the jewelry store for around 250 GP each, so that keeps their price around 100 to 150 GP. Now another variant of our previous method is selling to the Wilderness Bandit store, and this shop is very similar to any of the specialty shops in that it buys the items for a high elk price, but it'll do that for a large selection of items or really any item that you can sell to the general store. So you can get very creative here and it's not as likely that you will have the same item selection as other people which means that you won't really have the issue of bottlenecking in the stores. However it does come with an increased risk being that you're in the wilderness. However if you are prepared and have a teleport and some food it is pretty unlikely that you will die unless you don't pay attention. As the amount of damage that people can do to you in free to play is fairly limited. For this example I brought some adamant plate bodies, iron plate legs, iron kite shields. Really just need to get creative. If you have a look on a GE Tracker there is a tool that will show you high alchemy prices and which items are going to be beneficial. However if you just go through a lot of the metallic items uh, you can look at the high alk price on the wiki as well and just use that and see if it's more expensive than the GE price. Personally, I think this is one of the best methods to make money in free to play as it's not so tedious as some of the other ones and can still net you like 300 to 400k an hour. The only drawback is you need a fair bit of money to get started. However, even that is pretty flexible. You can buy cheaper items with lower margins that will still net you a decent amount of money per hour. And as you get a larger bankroll, you can move that up to more expensive items and earn more money. And the last method coming at number 10 is actually killing highwaymen. The reason that this is kind of viable is the black capes can be worth upwards of 600 GP each as a lot of people like using green capes in free to play and the only way to get that is to dye a black cape and also the black cape is the best in slot item for free to play which does give it a certain value. Right now they're worth around 400 GP each so killing highwaymen you will get one pretty much every time. It says always on the wiki but that doesn't seem to be the case as like 
50% or 75% of the time you get one. But highwaymen are really easy to kill, they don't do a lot of damage unless you're really low level, and there are two spawns of them just north of Drainer Village, so we can quickly fill up an inventory, run back to the bank, or even to the Grand Exchange and sell them off. I probably wouldn't do this for more than 20 or 30 minutes as you might flood the Grand Exchange with black capes, but generally pretty easy method, pretty low requirements, and probably can net you between 50k and 100k an hour depending on the prices. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the video. Those are 10 viable free-to-play money-making methods that you can use in, well, 2019. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave the video a like. I always appreciate it, and I will see you next time.